All right, let me take a look here. I like the idea, though, Jeremy. I really... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, always thinking it's entrepreneurial spirit, right? All right, so Bob asks, our good buddy Bob Belvin, he says, Super New York Bob. license. Uh, Matt, you have a video saying you would not get New York. Everyone is sending out requests for people to get the New York oh. license. Your thoughts again, please. So I will tell you that I have had videos since then, and I will tell you, I think even in that video that Bob's talking about, I do refer to the fact that I'm not going to tell people not to get the New York license only in the, at that time in that video, I was saying that for the, the in my, pretty much my entire career, including working Hurricane Sandy, where I got in on the emergency license, mm -hmm. I haven't used a New York license. And there was a few reasons for that. And super short, it was I'm not working there very often because I'm doing Midwest cat hail. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not. Uh, when I do work there, it's super duper expensive to get around. Gas is expensive. It's like working in California. You know, extended stay was 900 bucks a, a, a week. You're talking in it, Long Island. Yeah, if you work in, in like Long Island. Yeah, so that's where I, you know. So I worked yeah. there in 2002, not on the license somehow. But anyway, um, and I don't I don't often work there. So I, it was an executive decision I made for my career. It's like an 80 20 rule, like 80 percent of really up 90% of the money that I, that I make as a cat adjuster comes from Colorado to Ohio, Indiana, and, you know, mm -hmm. Minnesota to Texas. That, that, that square right there is where I, I live. Yeah. I've worked in a lot yeah, of other yeah. states outside of that, but it's rare. It's like, hey, Matt, you want to go to Seattle for two weeks? Sure. Hey, Matt, you want to go to, you know, you know, Hurricane, let's see, what was it on? Gene, I think I was in Florida, right? I've only worked in Florida a couple of times on hurricanes. Um, Alabama a few times. So outside of that square, but like the bread and butter is going to be Midwest hail. I will tell you yeah. 100% if you want to distinguish yourself, uh, a cat doing cat or daily, because I'm going to tell you right now, you can travel for daily. You can call up any IA firm and say, hey, listen, you have a need somewhere? If they're getting overwhelmed. Daily? Yeah. 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 It, yep. Anytime, anytime, anytime of the year, any year. Say, hey, listen, call Pilot, Absolutely. call Compass, call Worley, Everett, whoever. Or they're not pocket really storms, either. man. Yeah, really pocket storms. I'm talking about daily. Like, just say because I know, like, like uh, it's Worley is now called Alacrity, by the way. Because you guys is that how that you one? pronounce it? I, yeah. I La think so. Alacrity. Did you say who's called that? Alacrity. Alacrity. So anyway, so they have like Liberty <laughs> Mutual Safeco as their client up in, in the Northwest, and they're short. They at least as of this time last year, they were short people up there for daily. Right. Yeah. So if you called Worley yeah. and said, "Hey, listen, you know, I'm happy to help you guys wherever you need me. I live in Texas. Um, can if you have me in the Northwest or the Northeast, like New Hampshire, Maine, those states up there, mm -hmm. they often have me. There's there's some dense populations in, in these places, and they're almost always yep. short-handed. I, when I worked for Liberty Mutual, I was a staff just for Liberty Mutual up in the Northwest. We we're always short-staffed. Right. We had a lot of turnover yeah. on on the staff side, and we had a lot of out-of-territory claims where I was assigning. IA is to do stuff all the time, right? It's needed, right? So, so these companies, you call them up and say, anywhere you want me to go, any kind of claim you want me to handle, what are you guys laughing at? You got on my face? <laughs> I will go. And I'll, you go live in a hotel and you go do daily claims. The fee schedule might not be, it might be different. It's going to be different than CAT, but you're going to be busy and you're going to be working in the downtime when everybody else is scraping mold off of the bread and looking at cash yeah. for change, right? So yeah, get a New York license to answer that question. For, I would say for sure get it. I agree. Will, Eberl, all these companies have said, listen, it it truly is the golden ticket. Willy Wonka opens yeah. up a chocolate bar. That is a New York license, right? Because yeah, because it's hard I, to get. I'll tell you, and and if there, there's, there's such a heavy population density there that if they get something or even doing daily, you can be busy in New York. You can probably. Yeah. Just move there. A, a few months into me being a, uh, a few months into me getting my crack at property claims, right? I, I went for my New York license because New York is about, I mean, New York State, like Staten Island, is about 15 minutes from where I'm at right now. So why wouldn't I have a New York license, right? So a few months into me having, I already had my Texas license because New Jersey's non-licensing. I already had, I already had that, so I figured, you know, get the New York license, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to roll. I'm starting to do my thing. And so I took the new, I did the adjuster pro New York exam or New York, uh, you know, pre-licensing course. 
or licensing course. And so I had an appointment to get that New York license and I failed it. Ever since then, I was so busy with New Jersey and with Pennsylvania that I never even cared. Recently, I actually had another appointment to go take another crack at the New York license last week. It was canceled, obviously. Oh, dang. But yeah, yeah. But what I'll tell you is this. Um, I'm the adjuster university guy. You would think that I know everything <laughs> about insurance. I <laughs> I took a I took a pretest. I took one of those pre-exam, you know, tests. And guess what I scored on that? I scored like forty-five. Oh dang! <laughs> Awful. It's Aww. called adjuster Ooh. pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just adjuster it, pro. Pre exam it was, prep. <laughs> it was bad. It was real bad. Um, because I, you know, I know property. I know property claim. You know, I know your homeowner's policy. I don't know aviation or anything like that. But what I will tell you, just being from New Jersey, is um, I'm constant. Even today, to uh, I don't have my phone with me, but I could show you a text message today. Uh, uh, who had asked me? Um, Straight Line Global, company out of Florida. Josh Shucks is the is the president the founder of it. He just asked me today if I had a New York license. I get that question about at least a dozen times a year. If I have a new, if I have a New York license or if I know anybody that has a New York license and that there tells me that there's a lot of value behind having a New York license, whether it's, and, and don't get me wrong. I'm with you, Matt doing claims in long Island sucks. I have absolutely no desire. Long Island is about, 45 minutes for me to get into Long Island, 45 or maybe like an hour to get into Long Island, all because of traffic. Geographically, it's about 30 minutes away, 25, 30 minutes away. But because of traffic and all that, it's about an hour. On Friday, on Fridays, late Friday, it's about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. Dallas Fort Worth. It's awful. Yeah. It's 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 definitely awful. Meanwhile, I'll travel three hours north or three hours south from where I'm at right now, but it's smooth sailing. It's chaos getting into Long Island. So I'm, I'm with you there. But for the mere fact that there might be the possibility of, of one of those pocket storms that go on in New York State, which is geographically a very large area, it for is. that really possibility, I, I think it's absolutely worth it. It's tough to get, absolutely. The Adjuster University guy can't seem to pass it. But <laughs> for that same reason, that's why if you're listening right now that's why you should get it it's a rare it's a rare license and it's worth it to get it